part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match, we have Josh playing Bantpod, and he's going up against Alex with Junkpod. Alex started off on the play with a Sun Petal Grove, and then Josh laid down a forest and cast a Birds of Paradise. Alex then laid down a Swamp and put a Viridian Emissary into play. Josh then played a Glacial Fortress tapped, and then resolved a Strangle Root Geist. He then attacked with the Geist, which Alex decided to block with his Emissary. They both died, so the Geist came back with Undying, and Alex found himself a forest. Alex played an isolated chap on his turn and then cast a solemn simulacrum. When it came into play, he found himself another swamp. Josh played a blade splicer on his turn and got a golem along with it. He then attacked with his geist again, which Alex traded for with his simulacrum and drew himself a card. He then played a second Viridian Emissary on his turn and then followed it up by using an Oblivion Ring to get rid of Josh's golem. On Josh's next turn, he started off by paying 2 life going down to 18 in order to cast a birthing pod. He then went down to 16 to use the pod to sacrifice his blade splicer and search for a wing splicer. Alex laid down a planes on his turn and then used another oblivion ring to get rid of Josh's birthing pod. He then went down to 18 to cast a birthing pod of his own. Josh played another blade splicer on his turn and then attacked with his golem for 3 in the air, dropping Alex to 15. Post combat, Josh played an Avacyn's Pilgrim along with Alanawar Elves. Alex then used an Umbarial Rites on his turn to return his Simulacrum to play and found himself another forest. He then went down to 13 to sacrifice the simulacrum with his pod and draw another card and then search for an Archon of Justice. However, Josh used a Fiend Hunter to exile the Archon and then attacked in the air with his two golems for 6 more damage, dropping Alex to 7. Alex started his next turn off by playing a Mimic Vat. He then played a Blade Splicer and got a golem along with it and then sacrificed the Splicer with his Birthing Pod. When it died, he exiled it with his Mimic Vat and then searched for a Skin Render which he used to kill Josh's Fiend Hunter and get his Archon back. When the Fiend Hunter died, he chose to exile it with his Mimic Vat instead. Josh played a Worm Coil Engine on his next turn and then attacked with his whole team except for his birds. Alex blocked and killed one of the golems with his Archon. He then blocked the rest of the ground creatures with his creatures, killing all of Josh's along with his Viridian Emissary. Alex went down to four from the other golem and then searched for a Plains from his Emissary. For Alex's next turn, he started off by sacrificing his Archon with his Birthing Pod and used it to exile the Worm Coil Engine. He then searched for a Massacre Worm and put it into play, which killed Josh's Mana Dorks and dropped him to 12. He then attacked with his Skin Render and his Golem, dropping Josh to 6. Josh drew his next card and didn't have enough to survive another attack from Alex, so went ahead and scooped it up, giving Alex the win and taking them to Game 2. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.